Day three, in-field camping. And I mean literally in-field camping. This is Tent City at a motorcycle rally. Kind of a interesting camp spot because we're right below these neighborhoods here. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I was talking to a guy who lives here and he says these houses hate when tents get set up here because it ruins their view. They feel like it's Woodstock. Ah, well, you don't have to worry about me. I'll be on my way home today. So let's talk about how I slept last night. That's kind of the crux of this review. First up, it was moist, as you can see. Look at all the dew. And this is a moisture from probably me breathing. Moist night, and it was frigid. This is, well, not frigid, frigid, but got down to about 32 last night. And I just could not get warm. <laughs> not until probably about an hour into my bag. Um, really, I don't know if I can fall the bag. It's just that I didn't eat. Well, I ate once. I ate at about 2 o'clock. And then that was it. And I did a light snack after that. And so my furnace wasn't really going that well. You know, so I didn't want to eat late. So the... Downside is I was a little bit cold. Hey, we've seen that before, reviewed that. It is as awesome as I said it was. Love it. Love this pillow, it's excellent. I actually got two of them. The only thing I didn't like is how they can't nest in the head pocket of your sleeping bag, and so I kinda had to stack one on top of the other and keep it from spinning. I wouldn't worry about the brand of sleeping bag. This is an 800 fill down sleeping bag. It's small, compact, does a job once you get warmed up. I know, you would think it'd be enough. It's rated 20 below, but like I've said before, you, you don't go off the rating. Just because it says 20 below, it's more like 40 for me. But let's talk about what's underneath. That's the real subject. It's called a Nemo Cosmo Air XL. And this is excellent right here. I love this system. It is an air mattress, orange in color. I love the color. Super lightweight, super compact. And it's kind of funny to see air mattresses make a comeback because a long time ago, I'm talking like in the 70s, air mattresses were common when you went camping. I know because I used to use one. We'd backpack in Virginia to go bear hunting and my dad had this old air mattress we slept on and I actually kind of liked it but it was super heavy. This one's much lighter. Check out the integrated pump. It's not really a foot pump. I don't know if they, they call it that or not, but the way I inflate this is you'll open up both of these inflation valves and then you'll do a double CPR maneuver on it with both hands and just pump it up and it goes pretty quick. I was surprised. I had my doubts, but and it plays pretty good. And then here's an exhaust valve right here. And you can manually inflate it too. Like orally inflate it. I like it. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, it's nylon on top. It's not like fleece or anything. Nor would I want it to be. Because when you get all this moisture from the tent, if it had some type of fabric on it, it would get wet and stay wet. The tent, by the way, is still the ledge recluse. High value option. Love it. Good tent fair to fall weather tent maybe winter if you can take the cold but inside the tent itself it's totally dry you can see this because all the mesh talked about that a lot and then underneath I have a thermorest ridge rest uh, you could sleep with this just by itself but on a motorcycle it's so light to take this as well there's my knife cool highly recommended link in the bottom um, I'm going to get another one. I like it so much. And I may make it my my main backpacking air mattress. That's it. Short review. Thought I'd turn you on to yet another gear item that I love found out about. Time to pack up and head out after three days of living in a tent. Worth it. It was cool. It was cool to do this. 
Camp is camping, no matter where you do it. Nothing fancy project, get out and live. See ya.